Alright guys, welcome back to Doctor Who, The Lonely Assassins. So in the last episode, we found this some kind of entity or creature named the Weeping Angels. Now personally, as a non-Doctor Who fan, I'm still new to this universe. I don't know anything about the Weeping Angels, but um, I think I'm gonna learn more about this entity in this episode. And by the way, I don't know if this episode is gonna be the last one because I've been playing this game for approximately two and a half hours or or maybe more. Maybe, yeah, three hours. Anyway, um, let's just continue. I'm really excited, you know. Okay, so... I want to have a look at this, the objectives. Um, keep an eye out for more mentions of the TARDIS, optional. And then... Uh, what else? Okay, uh, look for clues in the current batch of recovered data. There's a new file in the gallery and new email has been recovered. Okay, now... Okay. Now, I want to upload something here. Um, Alabama's blue box or the angel. Okay, um, Alabama's blue box. Another sighting of the doctor. I don't have a record of it in Alabama though. But looks like this occurred around the time of the civil rights movement, specifically when Rosa Parks was resisting bus segregation. It was an iconic moment for the cause, you know, and the doctor does like to be present at significant historical events. Hmm. Okay, um, so what's the doctor like? Do you know the doctor? Hmm, so what's the doctor like? The doctor is a lot of things. Kind, mad, brilliant, and sad somehow mm, somehow it's easy to miss but there's a certain melancholy with them eons of living can do that to a person i suppose hmm. do you know the doctor no is a strong word but yes i've met them a few times actually Oh, you got to travel through space and time? No, sadly. But how? The doctor offered me a chance once, but I couldn't take it. I was needed at home. Well, there was that other time too, but then I died. But that's a whole other story. What kind of alien is the doctor anyway? The doctor's a, a time lord. From Gallifrey. Um, uh, explains the time travel. What does the doctor look like? Oh, the doctor looks pretty much like you and me, except for the two hearts thing. That's a bit different. Anyway, good that we found more evidence of the doctor. I'll be sure to look through it later. Keep investigating, please. You're doing a fabulous job. But we need more information about where Lawrence is now and what he's doing. Um, there's another file that I want to share. I assume that this is from Lawrence's exploration of Western Drumlins. Looks like he documented the place thoroughly. Is that an angel statue? Um, the same creature I thought of earlier. Yeah. I'm not sure, but it's a possibility I wouldn't rule out. I must warn Aisha about this. You better. Have a look at the new batch of recovered data, will you? We may find more answers there. Right, that's pretty much everything for now. Um, okay, let's go to the mail. What's this? Marguerite at archives.web. Oh, Matt, archives.web, sorry. Okay, we managed to get that film you wanted. 
A113 medium film title A London Citizen Displaced During the War. Uh, this link is valid for one download only. If you encounter issues, please contact your local records administrator. Uh, Margaret Quincy, Records Administrator, Research Assistance Department, Metropolitan Archive. So that's the phone number. Open the link. Ah. Uh. Hang on, I think I've seen this. I think I've downloaded this file before. Um, okay, clue found. MET Archives Download Link, a link from the MET Archives for a digital download of an archived film. Archived film, though? Alright, Natasha, what do you have this time? Last month. Mr. Nightingale. I do believe your presence was required at home 30 minutes ago. Where are you? The popcorn's going stale. Oh gee, sorry Nat. Had to pop over to Wester Drumlins for a bit. Heading back now. I see, making life harder for dear old Fuzzy Flynn. I suppose it's wise to keep your friends close but your enemies closer. I take it that your pick for movie night is The Godfather? And Fuzzy Flynn, really? I thought the mob ins might inspire you in these trying times, and yes, Flynn's such a kind neighbor and he never gets my name wrong. I can't imagine a better way to describe him. I can think of a few like Fussy. Fussy Flynn. Oh darling, you're just being unoriginal now. Shut it. But seriously Larry, this thing with western drumlins. It's about to go pear shaped, isn't it? Don't worry Nat, I'll keep us both safe. Those things are never getting out. I know you will. But we're a team, remember? I could march over to Flint's right now and make him an offer he can't refuse. I'd love to see you go all Corleone on him. But it's too dangerous. I've already lost Kathy. I can't lose you too. You seriously can't expect me to sit here twiddling my thumbs while you're risking your life. Look. We'll talk more once I get home, okay? Okay. I'm just saying I'm just saying that you don't have to go at it alone, Larry. I'm never alone with you around. Ugh, you're such a melt. I love you. Okay. That's pretty much it. Uh, okay. Mr. Flynn. 9th of February. Aha, I know everything now, Nightingale. You do? So you'll close off the house? Close it off? No! My cousin told me all about you. You've been trying to get that property for ages. I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. There's been a misunderstanding. Uh, horrible things have happened there. Okay, I think... Yeah, this is the same article. Um, Poppy Cook? I don't take stock in fiction. And to think I was still trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. That dinner was just a stun, pure manipulation. Well, I won't be bought with a simple pot roast. If you listen, if you won't listen, then I'll, I'll have to do something about it. Do something about it? Ha, ha! I'd like to see you try. Don't test me, boy. Oh my God, this dude. He's so stubborn, man. Okay, let's go to the gallery. Oh, private. What about downloads? Oh, what is this? Whoa, that's a blue box. Right? Yeah. Clue found. A flying pop... Oh my god. Flying phone box. A phone box with, with someone hanging off it, being lifted by a helicopter. Ah. That's strange. Then what is this video? Oh my god. Corrupted video. A video corrupted beyond repair. It needs to be downloaded again. Wait, so this is the video that 
was downloaded from the Metropoli blah, Metropolitan Archives. So I was wrong. Oh my god. I think I want to open the Into the Unknown again. Can I read this? Number station still on air? Mm, not anymore. It's pretty much, yeah, corrupted. All right. Let's just share this. A London citizen displaced during the war. That's curiously specific footage to look up. Why would Lawrence be interested in that? Yeah, let's be honest. I don't have a clue. It looks like this file has been downloaded before. Yes. Check the link and see if you can find this video in the phone somewhere. I already have. Well, that's disappointing. When that thing was running amok, amok in a phone, it must have damaged the file. Maybe it's important. If the entity targeted it specifically, yes, good point. It could be. Judging by the metadata that's still readable, I'd say it's a digita digitization of very old film footage. Oh, I think this is the video that Lawrence requested in that email we saw. Yes, and it's the last file I need to fully restore Lawrence for restore Lawrence's phone too. Okay, um... Are we close? Ferry. Okay, you need to contact Marguerite and convince her to give you the digitized video she sent to Lawrence, so you'll have to pretend to be Lawrence. It looks like a personal transaction, so she wouldn't release it to a stranger. Mm, I played Simulacra before, so... I can do that! Game on! Great! It's our chance to become Raiders of the Lost Archive. Sorry, I mean, yeah, okay, that's a reference of Indiana Jones. Uh, no pressure, but if Marguerite asks you anything, just get your facts straight. It's all in their email exchanges. Go on, give her a ring. Good luck. And finally, last file here. Flying phone box. Oh my goodness. How on earth did Lawrence get this photo of the doctor? I was certain that you need swept this whole incident under the rug. Fun fact, I was there myself. It was the first time I met the doctor. Uh, why are you so interested in finding the doctor? Personal curiosity, you could say. I'm a scientist, and that means hunting down interesting happenings. And whenever the doctor shows up, interesting things tend to happen. Mm. Hunting for adventure, eh? <laughs> Well, I also think Unit could really use the doctor's expertise right now. Speaking of, you'd make a fine recruit for us. Definitely not a job for the faint-hearted, though. Mm, yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> I just love being a gamer, you know. Well, if you ever need a reference, I'm here. The doctor visits Earth a lot, then. They've certainly taken a shine to the place. Seems to have a thing for historical events. They show up around those a lot, I find. Altering history? Maybe? That's a thing, isn't it? We never know. I'd like to think the doctor would alter it for the better, though. Anyway, so that's three TARDIS sightings you found now. Good 
job. All right. So I have to call Marguerite. Um, let's open this again. Marguerite Quincy. The phone is. Hang on. Uh, I need my phone and I'm gonna type the number. So I'll be back. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so the number is zero two zero seven nine four six zero eight two seven. Aha! You have reached the Metropolitan Archive your one-stop access point to our nation's history. If you are looking for an introduction to the Met Archive, please press 1. For general inquiries, please press 2. For research assistance, please press 3. For international collaborations, please press 4. To return to this menu at any time, press 0. I'm um, sorry. Um, press 0 again. Sorry, I I forgot the uh, the options. Please, please, I press zero. Come on, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna try again, guys. You have reached the Metropolitan Archive, your one-stop access point to our nation's history. If you are looking for an introduction to the Met Archive, please press one. For general inquiries, please press 2. Okay, 2. All of our lines are busy at the moment, as we are currently experiencing a very high volume of calls. We apologise for the inconvenience. Please try again later. If you are looking for an introduction to the Met Archive, please press 1. For general inquiries, please press 2. For research assistance, please press 3. For international collaborations, please press 4. To hmm. So what what option should I choose though? Um hold on. Let me check the email again. Research assistance, there you go. So Okay, I have to choose number three instead of number two. You have reached the Metropolitan Archive, your one stop access point three. to our nation's history. If you are looking for an introduction to the Met Archive, please press 1. For general inquiries, please press 2. For research assistance, please press 3. three. Having trouble finding what you're looking for? Feel free to submit a request or query and one of our administrative staff will get back to you. If you've already made a request or have a search in progress and you'd like to make a call following this up, Please dial the four-digit extension number of the person you would like to speak to after the tone. Otherwise, press... Oh my god, I forgot the number. <laughs> that was a mistake again. Okay, 1034. That's her extension number. Okay. You have reached the Metropolitan Archive, your one-stop access point to our nation's history. If you are looking for an introduction to the Met Arc, okay, having trouble finding what you're looking again. for, feel free to submit a request or query and one of our administrative staff will get back to you. If you've already made a request or have a search in progress and you'd like to make a call for... Okay, 1034. You have dialed the extension number of... Quincy. Marguerite. Please hold while we try to connect you. Come on. Hello, Marguerite speaking, records administrator. How may I help you? Hello? Hello? The line seems to be off or something. Give me a moment. I have your number right here. Text you in a bit. All right. We got her. Sorry about that, Lawrence. Terrible line. How can I help? Um. Sorry, I've got a problem with the file you sent me. Sorry, Lawrence. Pardon me, but could you refresh my memory about when we met? Oh my god, I forgot. Okay. Um, hold on. So it's 28th of February. Um, let's see. 
23rd of February. So it was a few days ago, right? I dropped by yesterday, no, we met last week. Ah yes, that's right. It was refreshing to speak to a hobbyist like yourself. A change from the usual media researchers and academics. I particularly enjoyed our last conversation about the nature of time. Um. Oh my god, I don't know. Did Lawrence meet Margaret in her office? I don't know, man. Okay, let me check the email again. Uh, dropping by again today. So, okay. It was good to meet and chat in your office. That's kind of you to say, but I'm the digressing you're asking about the file you requested um yep the old video footage that's right you said it was of monumental importance i hope you managed to download the file i accidentally deleted it my computer died and i lost the file no um the link didn't work Oh, how strange. Must be a bug in our system, but I can fix that. I'll restore the link so you can use it again. Okay. Thanks so much. Oh yes, you asked about something else as well. Something about a blue telephone box. I might have found something. Okay. Oh, what did you find? A colleague found some records of a telephone box that predate its invention. Perhaps you might make more sense of it with your research so far. Just download from the old link. You should get the video and the photo. Hope this helps. Oh, thank you so much. Fantastic. There you go. You got it. Fantastic. Well done. That was decent piece of hacking, my friend. Yep. I've done this before. You can rely on me, Osgood. That was emotional. <laughs> ha! Well, however you manage it, you did it. So, to the moment of truth, let's watch the video. Right, here we go. So, this is the photo. Bleak House. Clue found. Phone box. Phone box. There you go. Phone box on Bleak House. A phone box sketch in onto a first edition copy of Bleak House. Ah. Now let's watch this video. Thanks, Henry. This is a message for Lawrence Nightingale of London, England. There should be more instructions attached to the real tin. What? Hi, Larry. It's so nice to be able to say that again. I'm in Kansas, 1928. The day Herbert Hoover wins the US election, though no one knows that yet. I'm staying at the old Denslow farm, which is lovely and full of great people and God I miss you so much every single day I mean I'm fine don't worry one minute I was in London my time our time the next second I'm in Times Square 1926 it was like life on Mars without John Sim Ops. he was so great in that but people only remember Philip Glenister because Jean Hunt was so... I really miss our endless stupid talks about telly. That was always our thing. 
You better not be schlepping around conventions with someone else now, by the way. Unless it's Sally. Sally. Could you move it closer, please? I know it sounds stupid, but I was always jealous of the thing you two had. I mean, the angel thing. But that's not why I finally snuck off to Wester Drumlins. Honestly, I was trying to help. I don't know how, but... Anyway, as I was leaving, that was when this, like, damaged statue touched me and zap. I think Wi-Fi's rubbish in our bedroom? Try 1928. I'm sorry I didn't believe you when you told me how dangerous it was. I pawned all the jewellery I was wearing, made some pretty shrewd moves in the markets. Always knew my degree in American history would come in useful. Call me Natasha Gecko. Actually, don't. Makes me sound like your pet lizard. Did I mention that I miss you? Every single day. Oh, not all my jewellery. The ring of bling. Till death us do part. The vicar didn't mention anything about weeping angels. Henry, what's wrong? Uh, what? Who's Henry in the background? Clue found. A message from Natasha. Natasha records a heartfelt message for Lawrence from the past. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. So, did she travel to to the past? Oh, my God. I'm confused, <laughs> but anyway. Let's upload um, this. This must have hurt to watch. Looking at the metadata of the original corrupted video, Lawrence must have played this a few dozen times. You must have heard to record it, too. Yeah. Agreed, but chin up, my friend. So this confirms it. Natasha went to Western Drumlins and fell victim to the angels. They are not merciful creatures. It's a fate far worse than death. To be ripped out of time and away from the people you love. Oh. Think they're still at the house? It's likely. These things don't move on so quickly. Aisha hasn't replied to my text. Hope she's just busy with the cameras. I need to make sure she watches out for these things. Oh, I've managed to decrypt a set of data in Lauren's personal files. Okay, Sally's chat. Natasha's chat. Could you have a look at those first, please? Um, Actually, I want to upload this first. Before I move on to the gallery. Is that a sketch of the TARDIS on a first edition copy of Charles Dickens' Bleak House? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I wonder why the Doctor was in 1853, the Crimean War. Whatever it was, I'm sure there was a good reason. That's a lot to live up to. <laughs> good thing the Doctor doesn't disappoint then. The Doctor has always been this beacon of hope, inspiration, and tenacity, and a representation of the belief that we can be better, always better. That's rather admirable, I think. Wow. <laughs> anyway, so that's for TARDIS sightings. Oh, okay. We collected all of them. I suspect that might be all Lawrence has on his phone, so excellent work. This might be what I need to track down the doctor. Um, how do you know there isn't anything else? 
I want to ask Osgood more. I'm going by the dates of when Lawrence saved data on the phone. This latest TARDIS sighting you found was one of the last files modified on the phone before it went dead. We'll only know how far Lawrence got with this exercise once we find him. Well then. Uh, let's have a look at the chat again. Natasha, last year. Oh, 18th of September, 2020. Larry, you have to see this place. It is proper posh. All the big wigs are here. There's free champagne too. Sorry, Nat. The traffic is rubbish right now. Be there soon. Try not to get sm too smashed. You should have taken the tube like I said, but no, you had to prove a point. You lost, by the way. Also, no texting and driving. It's been at a standstill for 20 minutes. I think it's safe enough. Are you alright over there? Yeah, I'm fine. Just strolling through the showcase, feeling mysterious and fancy-like. The photographs are beautiful. Really makes you think how much of the world is out there. Oh, there's even a few of our shop. Sally's really got an eye. She makes you look like a movie star's distant cousin thrice removed. What? I resent that. Serves you right for being late to your own friend's exhibition. Speaking of, the woman of the hours just freed up. I'm going to say hi. Text you later. Okay, half hour later. I love Sally. I knew we'd get along as soon as she rolled her eyes when I explained your friendly Wager. Wager? Wager? I don't know. She's on my side, obviously, but she's so lovely. She even got us something. Late wedding present, she said. Remind me to send her some flowers tomorrow. Flowers and a few DVDs. How can a person only have 17? Anyway, love you loads and see you soon. Okay, now Sally. Sally Sparrow. Okay, 7th of May. Congratulations on tying the knot with Natasha. Sorry, I couldn't make it, but it was an honor to receive an invite. Sally, I'm disappointed, honestly. I'm so, so sorry. I'm wishing you all the best, though. Not that. It's honor, not honor. Have you... No, well, honor? Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Depends on where you are. If you're in the UK, you, as, you usually add you in honor. Whereas honor... Without you is mostly used in the US, right? Okay, that's a funny way of congratulating a bloke on this big day. Must be another thing I pick up in America. There you go. I mean, yeah, she moved to the US, right? Okay. In all seriousness, thank you, Sally. The missus sends her regard too. How are you? It's been ages. The buildings there are the buildings there are old and tragic enough for you to photograph. Nothing could be as old as you, but there are some good contenders. And the hits keep on coming. I've got to make up for all that lost time somehow. Anyway, things are crazy here. Crazy, but good. I might even be coming back to London for a bit. Really? We should catch up if you have the time. I have some ideas for that thing, and Natasha would be happy to meet you. You should see the new shop expansion too. There's a tiny cafe area where Nat bakes up some goods. They're heavenly. I love chat. I love that. Why did I say chat? Can't say much though. It's still top secret. But keep a lookout for that postcard I mentioned way back then. Well, it's not exactly a postcard, but you know, to me to to me to. What? I don't know what that is. You mean honor, honor? Ugh. Oh my god. So, uh, I might be slightly stuck in the traffic, but Nat's there. No need to wait for me. Don't worry, she told me all about it. We had a chat, and perhaps it's best if this was a girl's night out anyway. I'll see you next time in town. I'll see you next time I'm in town, yeah? Wait, what? You're joking. It will come to you. Not this again. Ah. Now let's open the gallery again. Um, what's this? Private. 
let's hear this. Okay. Captain's log, stardate 54274.7. This is an audio diary. No, it's not. It's an audio journal. Journal always sounds more grown up. Okay. And I'm going to be recording stuff about Wester Drumlins and the Angels in case... Well, just in case anyone ever needs to know. Started back in 2005. Long story short, a house called Wester Drumlins has something nasty in the basement. Creatures called Weeping Angels or Lonely Assassins. Oh. If they touch you, we'll send you back in time to feed off the resultant time energy. And no, I don't fully understand it myself, but they're like stone killers. And the only way to stop them is to look at them. Sounds easy, but it isn't. I'm home! Hiya! But it isn't. The angels of Wester Drumlins are trapped in a circle. They're locked together because they're looking at each other. And the cellar is boarded up, so... Trisha says she's calling the kid Marta. What's wrong with that? Marta Carter. What are you doing? An audio journal. Did you start by saying Captain's Lock, Stardate, whatever? No. Did you? I have done. <laughs> Good job I love you, Mr Nightingale. Come on, you can give me a hand with the shopping. Be with you in a tick. Anyway, some guy called Flint has just bought Wester Drumlins. I don't know him, but... There's a load of frozen stuff needs sticking in the freezer. On it. I'm sure he won't be a problem. But he is the problem, though. Mr. Flynn is sus, you know. I don't trust him even a bit. Okay, let's open this second Journal audio. Update. Okay, Flint audio. is an idiot. I don't mind idiots. I'm used to them. I worked in local government for six months, but he's a dangerous idiot. He listened to everything I had to say, didn't believe a word of it. Unfortunately. And he said he couldn't guarantee he wouldn't crack on with his plans to renovate the cellar. This guy could unleash the weeping angel. Which guy? Hiya. Sorry. Didn't hear you coming. Who are you talking about? Flint. New owner of Wester Drumlins. He's doing work on the place, which could, you know. Well, he could be thinking about it. Then see how much decent builders cost and decide he doesn't need a second mortgage. Are you sure? I'm sure. Ish. Why don't you go over and check it out? See if he's got any contractors on the job. I know. I, I should do. But that place... Yeah, I know. Look, I'll stick the kettle on. Nats. Yeah? Thanks. I'm praying I can convince Flint not to renovate the lower floors because... Those steps don't just lead to the cellar. They lead to hell. Oh. So the secret is in the basement. Right, what about this third audio journal? So, no word from Nat since she popped out last night. I found all her mates, no joy. But I can't help thinking... I just wanted to hear her voice. So I played back a couple of my journal entries. Ones where she came in, so I'd recorded what she was saying. God. And in one of them, she says I should check out West Drumlins. And I say something like, I know, but I don't want to. Well, what if... What if she wanted to help and she went over there to check it out? What if that's what happened? And an angel or something? What if she's gone forever? And I'm responsible? Oh my god. Could be responsible though, but I don't know. Let's open this video. Just watched the message from Nats. I thought, like an idiot, it would bring us closer, but just maybe realize how far apart we are and how much I miss her and. She's confirmed it. There's at least one active angel at Wester Drumlands. And what with everything that's going on there, I, I can't wait anymore. I've got to at least try and stop it before it unlocks the others. 
I know full well it might kill me or send me back in time or I don't know, maybe I don't stand a chance, but last time me, Sally and the doctor used their own gazes to lock them in stone. And so, like Perseus, I go into battle with a reflective surface. Doubt I could get hold of a shield, but I'm guessing a mirror will do the trick. The doctor used to call them the lonely assassins. He reckoned it was because they turned to stone if you even glance at them. But if you think about it, lonely assassins are the best kind. Because we've got nothing to lose. Okay, I get it now. Wow. This is getting interesting and intense at the same time. The Weeping Angels are the Lonely Assassins. It's all connected then. Oh, wow. Let's open the second video. Well, this is it. I'm going back to where it all began. Wester Drumlins. Almost there now. It's funny, I, I've been there dozens of times and always got a tight knot of fear in my stomach. This time though, nothing. <laughs> I might stop the angels or... Ranny told me about this bloke called Anthony Williams. She interviewed him and he claimed that his parents were zapped by the angels separately, but both ended up in exactly the same point in time and space. So who knows? I might beat the angels forever or have a date at the hot old... I thought so. Right, gotta go. Gonna get in through this side entrance. If I don't make it and you find these messages, you know the drill. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. Good luck, Larry. Whoa. Don't blink. Clue found. Lawrence's plan. The last entry in a series of self-recordings made by Lawrence. Oh, okay. What is this last video? The angels are coming for you, but listen. Your life could depend on this. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They are fast. Faster than you could believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away. And don't blink. Good luck. Don't blink. The doctor's warning of the lonely assassins. Oh, this is the doctor. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Osgood, shall we? Uh, Lawrence's plan. Did you see that? At the end there, the weeping angel. Yep. Uh, yeah, I can see that. They're getting stronger. We can't let them win. Lawrence's efforts won't go to waste. These recordings, they explain an awful lot, don't you think? Now we have the full story. Um, actually, I'm still processing this. What's your take on it? Yeah, I'm rather confused, you know. Um, this whole connection is still... Uh, I might have an idea, but... I don't know if it's right or true, but let's see what Osgood says here. Um, well, it's rather obvious, isn't it? Lawrence went back to stop the angels. Oh, besides that, I mean... Well, I'm seeing the full picture now. Lawrence defeated the angels before with Sally, but now they're loose and send Natasha back to the past. Clearly, he didn't manage to stop them this time. So the angels send their victims to the past. Like, wait, what? I have a feeling that Lawrence or Larry is in the past right now. Maybe he got away. It's a possibility. It sounds like he was banking on that one advantage. The angels can't move while they're being watched. Yeah. Maybe. Lawrence wanted 
to, to use their own reflections against them. Oh, the missing mirror. Oh, maybe Lawrence is using the mirror to to fight these weeping angels because Lange, what the angel five eight zero one angel five eight zero one angel five eight zero Five eight zero one. Yeah, this again. Lawrence work out that they can be trapped in their own gaze. I'll check in on Aisha again. Then we'll have a better gauge on Western Drumlins. Uh, this again. You've dealt with the source of the phone's corruption, so whatever this is can't be related to that. Curious. Um, I think it's worth tracing the call, you know. There must be something in it. Ha! Huh, you're really starting to think like me. I've traced the call, the calls back to a phone company. Looks like they were set up on the works on automated call lines. Who do you think is behind this? That's going to be a touch trickier to find out. I do have something interesting information about the calls. They were set up immediately after the phone company was formed in the 1950s. All the calls were routed or routed to one number on a very specific date. Lawrence's phone today, 28th of February, 2021. There must be a reason for the calls though. Let's think. No one's had the phone since Lauren when Lawrence went missing a few days ago. So what's the most significant event that that's happened today? Yep. The phone exactly so let's take a leap someone somehow knew Lawrence's number supposing they were also prescient about who would have his phone at this very moment that would mean these 70 year old messages are meant for us but that doesn't reveal who instigated the calls I agree do I have balls to accuse Osgood for this one Lawrence himself or Natasha, but I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it could be you, you know, because it could be anyone. Thanks for that thought. <laughs> but no, that's not how I choose to reach out. So can't be me. Sorry, not sorry. It's quite the enigma. Uh, beside us, who else could it be? And is at Western Drumlins right now. Oh no, Ayesha. What? Are you sure? She's a signal manipulation expert. She of all people would know how to set up a number station. It all fits. I'm trying to access her camera feed. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Please, please, please. Um, I need to access these numbers though. Oh. Okay, this is Ayesha. Let's connect. Ayesha, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I was gonna phone you. Are you streaming my body cam speed? Where are you, right now? Scooby Doo's house. What? <laughs> Wester Drumlins. I just finished installing the exterior cameras. I've done some of the inside ones, but I still need to... You have to get out of there now. I was a unit operative for five years. I think I can handle a spooky old house. Hey, do you know that there's a statue of the owner in the basement? Aisha. Still here. That isn't statue. Listen to me. You're going to be okay. Just don't... Oh, no. She was going to say, don't blink. Who is that? Who are you? Uh oh, wrong question. What's the what right the question? hell? Where are you? Where are you? Ayesha, please, please get out. You. <laughs> and when your friend said that you shouldn't blink and you're going to be okay, she was only half right.
Oh no. No way. The angels. That's Mr. Flint. Flint, yeah? I have some excellent news for you. Something that'll put a smile on your face. I am dead. Or as good as. The angels are using Flint's consciousness to communicate. Because we wanted to say thank you for being so slow and so incompetent you couldn't even stop Flint's work on Western Brumlins. That work has allowed one of our number to free the angels trapped in the cellar. They're regaining their strength and very soon they will be as right as rain. Your planet will become our larder. And I wanted you to know I will not forget how you tried to stop us. I will find you and send you back to a time when Earth was devoid of life. That shall be your eternal prison. Just think of me as your guardian angel. No, you're not. See you soon. Oh, goodness. Mr. Flint. Oh, shoot. Okay. Flint's bad side. A picture capturing Flint's last moments of humanity. The angels got to Flynn. True. Come on, all's good. Hello? Sorry, I'm here. I couldn't just sit around after... Well, you saw ISS feed. So I drove to Western Drumlins in Lawrence's, in Lawrence's car? Good thing I swiped the keys. What were you saying? We're in this together, I can help. I'm certainly taking you up on that offer. The building's alarm system has been activated, but I'd rather get in without everyone in the neighborhood knowing. Any ideas? Oh no. Um How did Aisha get in? She never undertakes a mission without her jamming equipment. Had a quick rummage through her cart for it, no luck. It must be in the house with her. Just spotted a retinal scanner at the gates. I can work with that, with your help. Um, okay, how can I help? Please. You need to get me an image of Flint. With that, I think I'll be able to reconstruct an image of his eye. And trick the scanner into letting me in. Uh, okay, got it, on it. Pictures, videos, any sort of image will do. Just find one and scan it. I know you can do it, but please, you must hurry. Let's send this photo to... Osgood. Oh, no, no, no. Don't blink. Let's share this first. Well, now the doctor's warning makes sense. I'll keep his advice in mind once I'm actually inside the house. But right now, I need you to get me that photo of Lint. This photo. Was this taken after the angels? Poor man. Well, let's see if this gets us past the scanner. It worked. Oh, good. Thank goodness for that. Okay, I'm going in. Wait for backup. Be careful. Yeah, be careful. He'll be fine. Hopefully. I'm heading to the cellar now. I grab a camera from Ayesha's car. I'll patch you into that and the surveillance she set up earlier so you can see. Alright. Okay, let's connect. 
ominous music. Aisha. Aisha! Oh, please be okay. Please be. Oh no. Okay. Angels feast on your friend. You sent her here, Petronella. Glad she's dead. Are you jealous of her as well? I would only wish death on my worst enemy. We're growing stronger. Almost ready. And unfortunately for you, you're my worst enemy. What's the time, Mrs. Wolf? I need to get something from outside the house. But I'm afraid... Actually, I could just leave it there. Petronella goes to hell. I'm afraid you're going to have to guide me out of here. How? How? This is bad. Very bad. Um, can I help? Thanks. You see, the thing is, the angels are in the basement. All of them. I'm watching them. So they are not attacking yet. Oh, God. You're in huge danger. Yeah, no shit. Um, how are you texting there? I'm using voice to text. It's coming in really handy right now. I'm sure I'm not sure how long I can keep with keep this up though. But there's a way to stop them. I need a disco ball in Lawrence's car. Oh, to trap the angels with their own reflections. Maybe that's it. Yes. True, true, true. I have to get it from the car. But the angels will attack as soon as I turn my back. Um can someone else get you the disco ball? Okay, I'm coming over to help. No, I appreciate that. I mean, not technically coming over to that place. <laughs> You're the only one who knows I'm here. If anything happens to you, then I'm trapped and we're all scuppered. Um, can someone else get you the disco ball? Any outside help? would take way too long. It's just you, me, and the weeping angels. Although right now it feels like we should be the ones weeping. Can you watch them with Ayesha's cameras? Oh my word. Welcome to the I have brilliant ideas. Oh yes! So despite all the cameras inside the house, there are still some blind spots. Maybe we can rotate some of the cameras. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, and you can help me with that. Oh, smart thinking. We can use the camera. We can use the cameras outside. The ones Aisha installed to keep watch for Flynn and his contractors. You can control those cameras through my app. Just turn all the cameras. What? RK Joe. Joker, nine, two, two, six. Joker, nine two two six. Joker. Joker, nine two two six. Okay, so that's the last four digits. Um, what was it again? Nine two two six. Okay. Uh, you can control these cameras through my app. Just turn all the cameras inward. Toward the house windows. It's risky, but then I can properly monitor the angels while I grab the disco ball. But please hurry, I can't keep this up for much longer. Now, can I connect these 16 digits though? No. It's limited. <laughs> it's limited to just 13 digits. I mean, there are 16 digits, so yeah. <laughs> it won't work. Okay, let's open this. Okay. Shark. Oh! So those four digits are... Okay, okay, I get it. Um, Now, shark is... One... Seven... Four... Seven. Okay, watcher. Um, what is it? 
nine, three, two, seven. Okay, Angel. Five eight zero one. Five eight zero one. Okay, Joker. Nine two two six. There you go. Okay, let's track the camera. Oh my god, this is awesome! Anyway, where are you right now? Okay, maybe I have to move the cameras towards the door. I mean, any door. Okay, maybe this door. Oh, that's the car. Whoa, okay. Oh, I have to... Oh, I get it. So let's just move this camera here. Aha! Okay, oh! There you go. This one. Aha! Nice! Whoa! Oh no, you are too late. We cannot be stopped. Uh, not if I can help it. Come on, you asshole. Okay. Come on. Just gonna die very soon. Let's go. Yes. No one to save you now. Your friend will be a t t tasty starter. No, no. Uh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's out. And then? Come on, come on, come on. Larry, I love you. The doctor once said that courage isn't just about not being frightened. It's being afraid and doing what you have to do anyway, which is good to know because right now I am very, very afraid. But we have to do this. Okay. Oh my God. I'm in. I hope you're okay. Please, please, please. Oh, why is it always the cellar? Oh, cellar. From the Latin, solarium, meaning the place where monsters hide. Oh, God, it's not really, sorry, distraction technique. It's a habit I got off the doctor. Trouble is, it never worked. Petronella goes to hell. Petronella goes to hell. If you're trying to scare me, you're doing a terrific job. Still jealous of your sister, little girl, with her good looks and charm. She's no angel, which is why I actually quite like her. Oh, you've been around time travel machinery, haven't you, Petronella? She likes to go out, though. Nightclubs, bars. Lots of yummy Artron energy on you. I'm more of a library girl myself, but we did go to the odd disco together. Artron energy makes angels nice and strong. Never liked the loud music. Strong enough to. But I always loved. Consume your world. My phone! <laughs> I 
<laughs> what happened? I think we just saved the planet with a disco ball. Oh, that is oh. so the doctor. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much it, I guess. <sighs> okay. Um, all's good. Please answer me. Hey, are you okay? Yes. I'm here. Sorry. Just catching my breath. <sighs> thank goodness you gave me a heart attack. So you're okay? Um, yeah, thank goodness. Yeah. That was too close. Anyway, the disco ball idea worked. The angels are frozen, trapped as long as it stay in place. Um. So what happens now? I've informed Unit. They'll secure the angels properly, and I'll have to break the news about Ayesha. I mean, she didn't. She didn't deserve that. True. Yeah, I mean, it's not your fault. Seriously. Logically, I know that. Emotionally, well, it's going to haunt me. Yeah, I've... I'll make sure her loved ones know that she helped save our world. Um, uh, What about Flynn? What about Lawrence? Uh, what about Lawrence, though? There was no sign of him. I think. We'll just have to live in hope. But you've proven that we can all stand up to monsters, no matter how ter terrifying they seem. Welcome to the fight. I'm almost certain now that the doctor chose you for this mission. Actually, I'm flattered. <laughs> okay, because the doctor always knows a good person when they see one. Ah, uh, thanks, Osgood. Osgood, after everything we've been through together, you can call me Petronella. Well, I did promise you we'd part ways once we were done. I imagine you got quite a bit more than you bargained for. I'd say that yes. Well, I was glad for the help, so thank you. Um, you're welcome. Smiley face! I think my backup is on their way. I better go. Be careful, be careful. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Let's never do this again. Right back at you. Um, goodbye, Oskun. Catch you soon. Uh, right back at you. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, the doctor. Hiya. It's the doctor. Don't worry. Not your doctor. The doctor. Phone in to say thanks for the work he did with Osgood. Top stuff. You were brave and dogged and whip smart and all those other words people normally use about me. Whoa. Sorry about that. Okay. Osgood's busy overseeing the cleanup operation, but she wanted you to know they're moving the angels from the basement to a top secret cell in the Black Archives. And if you were worried about Mr. Flint, don't be. Got to him in time and he's making a full recovery. He might still have a heart of stone, but the rest of them is going to be flesh and blood. Oh, hold on. Again. Ah, ah, sorry. Console's playing up. Time for its 2,000-year MOT. Osgood thought you should know something else important. That which holds the image of an angel becomes itself an angel. So when Larry took pictures of them on his phone, that's how they were able to infiltrate it. But hey, you're done oh. with all that. And I think... Hello? Oh, I'm picking up a distress signal from the Bar Galactica, so I best be off. Just one last message from Osgood. She said if you ever fancy working with her again, well, all you've got to do is pick up the phone. Literally. Oh, about Larry, my old friend. I really hope he's going to be happy as, well, happy as Larry. But I'm not sure what happens to him next. I don't know everything. Where'd be the fun in that? See ya. That's it! Wow! Okay! Oh my god! That was a good adventure! My first ever reaction to Doctor Who. Alright, I'm just gonna wait until the credits end. 
so I can give my full review on this game. One eternity later. If I don't make it and you find these messages, you know the drill. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. Good luck, Mary. I think the angel's flown, Yaz. But best day in the TARDIS till I'm sure. Nothing. Just thought I heard something out back. I'll go and check. No, you stay there, Miss Natasha. What do you want? This is private property. Hi, yeah. Sorry to bother you. Is this the old Denbo farm? Wait, what? What? Wait, hold up. So, <laughs> Lawrence actually met Natasha in the past. Before he even reached the Western Drumlins, he actually met this TARDIS or the Blue Box. And then he traveled to the past to meet Natasha. Oh, okay. So this is the result. Operation Log, the Lonely Assassin's status secured. The Weeping Angels, a high-level threat, were neutralized by Agent Petronella Osgood and a civilian name redacted. That's us. Unfortunately, Agent Ayesha Green has been classified as MIA following this incident. And then this is also status secured. Lawrence Nightingale is a civilian who attempted to stop the Weeping Angels at Western Drumlins. He was rescued by the 13th Doctor and is now in 1920s America with his wife Natasha, a victim of the Angels herself. Unit will erase any evidence of their presence in the past. Oh, interesting. Let's continue. Okay, delete the corrupted angel fragments on time. Success. Convince Marguerite to release Natasha's footage. Success. Tardis in Alabama. Success. Tardis in the Lorva. Success. Tardis and the Doctor. Success. Tardis on Bleak House. Success. Oh my God! Wow. Well, there you go, guys. That'll be the end of Doctor Who, The Lonely Assassins. So, this is gonna be a very positive review because I'm loving this game so much. I love every single second of this gameplay. Story-wise, it's actually really, really interesting. It's really good. I'm so into it, and I really want to learn more about the story of Doctor Who. I might have to watch the series, but that's another story. The actors, they did a fantastic job, as far as I've seen. And for me, a good TV show is defined by two things. Good story, good actors. Doctor Who has both of them. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my review. Overall ratings, I will give this game probably a 9 out of 10. At the maximum, 9.5 out of 10. For me, 10 out of 10 perfect score doesn't exist. So yeah, that's pretty much the highest score I can give for Doctor Who. 9.5 at the minimum, 9 out of 10. So if you guys are... The newcomer of Doctor Who and if you want to know more about Doctor Who you can play this game you can find the link down below in the description you can download this game on Steam on Play Store and Apple Store and if you guys who are already like 
let's say a fan of Doctor Who, the expert of Doctor Who, or or the Whoiverse. Please let me know what you think about this game in the comment section down below. I'm really looking forward to see what you're gonna say. <laughs> but that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for coming to this series, and I really do hope you enjoy it. As usual, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on the bell so you won't miss another content. Follow me on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, you know the drills, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget not to blink, because the Weeping Angels might be watching you right now. Bye guys.